I, f- I feel like it's brilliant and like it gives um, people like us who don't have opportunities, opportunities. Personally, I'm a young carer, so I wanted to push more for like young carers and young carers' rights and just making it more known, to be honest, because I feel like young carers got such like, I feel like a lot of people just don't know what they are. Around my area, there's nothing particularly like Mind Your Future to help projects go ahead or help the community. Um, I think personally it helped me to like overcome the barriers. Being in this group and everything will help um, with just socialising, going to places, meet new people. Make me be able to express myself more in the future and be able to like help others in need. Oh, I, I'd say just to join because like, it's our future at the end of the day, like as younger people. So like we're helping ourselves in a way really, aren't we? Everyone welcomes everyone and they're such a positive group and no one judges no one. I'd say just go for it, come along, it's really fun. You'll meet new people. Eh, you can't really judge anything if you haven't even tried it yet. Try and encourage them to come and just instead of being stuck in the house board, you can come, you can chill out, you can be yourself. But I'd say take one step at a time and really focus on um, what you could be and what you could become. I think it's meeting new people and seeing like different people's opinions and seeing what matters most to other people and what like, other people find important. You know, you meet new people, you get to go to new places, you've got new opportunities, how to better the community, better yourself, better other people. I've, I've quite enjoyed socialising, me- meeting new people. You just want a place where you can have fun, relax, just chill out with your mates, bounce off each other, you know, just have that sort of connection. Learn about other people's like struggles and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, it's, this is like, with me, I'm not able to really talk to other people, so this is like encourage, uh, not encouraging, um, making my confidence go up in talking to others. Bullying's a big one. Bullying. 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 It's like I've gone through it, and I know how hard it is, and it it'd be good if people's voice are heard. So I've experienced bullying and it's not very nice. Mental health is one of my main options because I know some of my friends are like struggling and they don't know what to do. So I'm trying to like guide them in the right way. Mental health is a massive one. I feel like mental health has just been thrown about so much, so much now. It's like, oh, mental health, mental health. I feel like we need to start drawing back now to like what it actually is and how we can help. The truth is you gotta look or talk at least to people you trust, even if it's not counsellors or groups like this. Because we're hoping to gather funds to like help more with mental health issues and obviously more issues the young people face. But I feel like mental health is definitely the biggest one. I feel like there should be more opportunities because right now, as COVID has come, like many people have just been stuck stuck in the house and not being as active as they would be. So I think it would be a great way to, for them to get more active. It's important for your mind as well, not just about fresh. It's important for, your, for, for a good mindset. Uh, it'll spread the positivity and it'll make everyone aware of uh, all these different activities. But I feel like we're so stereotyped. Like if somebody's done something bad or if something bad has happened, it's automatically, oh, it's the valleys and it's like, no, you get good and bad everywhere. It doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter where you live, your background, who your family are, who you are. I just feel like we're so stereotyped and so labelled as like naughty kids or like the bad kids and stuff. I just feel like more could be done to show like there are like there is positive you. Like we're not a, we're not all like bad communities and stuff. We could, you know, do a lot with the money and it'll just help everything really. Really we're underfunded, especially the youth side of things. We've had so many opportunities and so many services taken away from us. It'll change people's lives incredibly. You may not think it, but kids will be off the street, kids won't be so depressed, kids will actually have a place to go. And I feel like for all like when everything got cut, like I feel like a lot of young people lost out. It's all of our own work and we've put effort into it. Like other p- people would have put effort in, but I think this one is like more about 
how we can help others. It's so important that we provide our young people with help if they can't help themselves. We, we've got a lovely bunch of people um, that deserve, deserve a chance.